are out here just practicing. Yep. Getting on the CNC Rulo range, getting ready for season. We're going to go over some stuff. Yeah, we're going to go over what we're shooting this year. So we're going to go through RJ's, Aubrey's, Vicky's, and myself. And well, as you know, we love flinging arrows. Okay, so this year I'm shooting my Hoyt RX-8. Absolutely love this bow. It is so smooth. I am a 27 inch draw and I have my bow set in the lower 50s this year. And on my RX-8, I do have the True Glow Archer's Choice Range Rover sight. It is a one pin movable sight here. So I can go ahead and set the yardages to exactly what I want with one pin. I've always shot my bows with a peep sight and a kisser on it. The more anchor points I have, the better off my shooting's gonna be. I also have the Hoyt Ghost Sticks 2 and the stabilizer on here. Best thing about these Ghost Sticks 2 is right here. Put it down, you can walk away. In a ground blind, it stands up, no problems. The release I'm using is a Stan Solex Index Release. I always have my gloves on all year round because when I'm hunting, I have them on, so I shoot the way I would be hunting with it. Always have a wrist strap, I have shot a wrist strap for years. Gonna stay with the wrist strap. So moving on to arrows, I'm shooting the Easton Axis 5 millimeter. My whole arrow weight is about 405 grains. This arrow is also tipped with the NAP Deep Cut Vented Broadhead at 100 grains. Also on this arrow is my Silent Night Veins along with my lit lighted knock. Well, I'm shooting my Hoyt RX-8, 27 and a half inches. I've got it about 64 to 65 pounds and I'm loving it big time. I'm shooting just a standard True Glow five pin hunting sight. But all I have is actually four pins because I like 20, 30, 40, and 50 yards. So it's real simple, it's super durable, and that thing has gone through everything you can imagine and still no hassles. I'm shooting the ultralight six arrow quiver, attaches right to the bolt, a solid setup. No noise, no vibration, no nothing. I've got my Easton FMJs. I'm shooting the 400s, a five millimeter. I'm shooting with my Spitfire, there's my practice Spitfires that I shoot all the time, but I'm shooting 100 grain NAP Spitfire. I've got an arrow set up with the lit knocks, with lighted knocks at 460 grains. I'm shooting my loop, my kisser, my peep. I put a little bit of extra silencers in just because I've always done it and I like it. My Stan Onyx clicker, oh, love that thing. And then I've got the ghost sticks, the 2.0s. This thing right here revolutionized hunting, especially whether you're blind, sitting in a blind, or you're spotting a stalking, because it allows you to just put the bow down, call, glass, range, the whole nine yards. You're covered at all different situations. If you're in a ground blind, you're just always standing up, but you knock an arrow, and you're always ready to go. This setup this year really hasn't changed much through the years, except we might vary, you know, with the, the different bows that Hoyt makes. But I'm gonna tell you, this RX-8, it's gonna be tough for us to let it go for next year. So this is what we're shooting this year. We've got a lot going on. Oh yeah, we Our do. Our equipment, we've put it through all kinds of things over the years, my gosh, for a and long time. And it's always time. held up, that's the cool That's thing. right, and now, you mean RJ and Aubrey, they're, they're shooting their, their Hoyts, and if you wanna see what they're doing, go to their social pages, they're gonna have all their information as well. And the reason we did this was because we always get asked, what's your setup? So we just thought we'd shooting? put yeah. it in a video for you. So we hope you enjoyed it. Check out what RJ and Aubrey have going on and uh, have a great season. The big thing is just get out shooting. Tune your equipment, get ready for the hunt, practice the best way that you can, how you're gonna actually hunt, and you will be more successful.